Hey what's going on guys, it's Jack here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and configure G-Sync for your monitor. Now a quick disclaimer, G-Sync will only work if you have a G-Sync compatible monitor. If the option does not appear, then the video will not work for you. Now for those who don't know, G-Sync is achieved by synchronizing display refresh rates to the GPU, which eliminates screen tearing and minimizes display stutter and input lag. G-Sync is often used in competitive gaming due to its effectiveness in high motion games. So what you want to do is first open up the NVIDIA control panel. And when that opens up, you want to go over to the G-Sync tab, set up G-Sync, click enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Then you want to uh, choose between the two options, enable for full screen. If you enable it for windowed and full screen mode, it will work for both please note that it can be buggy uh, in this option compared to full screen. Next, you want to choose the monitor that you want uh, for the G-Sync to be applied to. In this case, I want it to be applied to my 1440p um, monitor. And then you choose enable settings for the selected display model. Now, what it will say if you don't have a G-Sync compatible display is it will say enable settings for the, dis dis the selected display model. Now, once you've done that, you want to go over to adjust image settings with preview and make sure to select use the advanced 3D image settings. Once you've done that, click on that and it will take you to manage 3D settings. And then you want to follow these instructions exactly as I, as I explain it. It will also be put in the description as well if you want to follow on through the description. The first thing you want to set is low latency mode and set it to ultra. Ultra is to prioritize latency to fully uh, minimizing queued frames. In addition, this mode minimizes V-Sync latency when both V-Sync and G-Sync are enabled. Okay, next you want to choose the monitor technology. And it says, synchronizes monitor refresh rate to GPU's render rate. Best for demanding gates of highly variable FPS. Then you want to choose G-Sync compatible, if you haven't already. And then you want to scroll down until you see the vertical sync option. Now, it does give you several options here. Uh, adaptive, adaptive half refresh rate, fast, on, off. You want, to, you want to choose, although it doesn't say, you want to choose use the 3D application setting. Um, you do not want to choose adaptive, fast, or anything like that. Um, you want to keep it as is. And then once you've done that, you want to click the apply button in the bottom right hand corner. Your system might flicker or your monitors might flicker. That is completely normal. If it doesn't, that's fine. If it does, that is also fine. And once you've done that, you want to open up any sort of application, preferably a game, uh, that, or, or if you have the windowed and full screen mode option enabled, you want to open that. And then if you see at the top right hand corner, and if you if you don't get this, it will say G-Sync. Now if you do not get that, you you'll go over to Setup G-Sync, and this will change the display. Click on Display, and click on G-Sync Compatible Indicator. And what that will do is that will then, whenever you open a new application, it will then change this, and it will say that it's G-Sync compatible, or it will just say the words G-Sync which means the G-Sync is working. Now, it can be buggy in app certain applications, but it's preferable for games. It makes more sense for games. That's it, guys. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate you for your support. It is very, very enjoyable to make these kinds of videos because I, I, it motivates me and I enjoy it. I do appreciate your time. Uh, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, please leave a like, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my content. And I'll see you guys next time.